Hello, it is Saturday, that means it's time for another vlog of sorts. In this case, I was uh, hoping that the new year is treating you well. Let me know how everything is going so far in the comments below. I was actually looking for a way to kind of fill that gap that we have right after New Year's Eve. Because if you're anything like me, you like Halloween and all the stuff that comes afterwards. It's like a whole energy. Uh, usually all of October is Halloween as far as I'm concerned. And then of course you got the lead up to Christmas and the November in between there is my writing month. So I, everything from start of October all the way to New Year's Eve is packed full of interesting things, things to think about, things to look forward to. And then uh, it's the 31st of December, midnight, and you fall into this black hole of nothingness until about Easter or something. And outside everything is cold and it's dark and it's gloomy and all the leaves are rotting on the ground, it looks gross. And so I'm like, there's got to be something we can do to make the first couple of months of the year a little bit more interesting. So I was thinking, and I tried something like this a couple of years ago already, like to push a new idea into the world about a new sort of festival or celebration of sorts. And what you see here before me, uh, before you rather, is uh, a second attempt. The idea being that usually people have New Year's resolutions, right? Like they, I want to do this, I want to do that, I'm going to stop smoking, I'm going to exercise more, I'm going to go get a different job or whatever it is that they're like looking to change about themselves or their circumstances in a year. And they kind of say that and then it kind of gets lost in the day to day routine. And I was thinking we could maybe change that by making sort of a, a New Year's reminder festival thing or something along those lines and have your New Year's resolutions be represented by like a seed. And that's why I made these little flower pots. As you can see, they all have little seeds over here that kind of look like cherries but there are supposed to be a seed with a little sprout coming out of the top and then as i did with this one like the example would be maybe you want to have more weight loss uh, as a new year's resolution you could put that on a wall somewhere you can make more obviously i made four here and then just every day note your progress on a particular resolution if you made any progress and you want to put this on like a piece of paper on the wall so you can draw on it because that's the whole purpose if you've made progress for instance on your weight loss like you've walked an extra mile one day or something then you take a green pen and then you draw a little extra stem out of the seed and make sure to note beside that what you've done that that stem uh, represents and you keep doing that every day just check on your new year's resolutions to see how they're doing and by coloring them in and putting like extra stems and eventually also leaves and stuff like that and there you can see the progress because the plant is growing or it should be growing and you can also see which of these plants need more attention if they're not growing too well and maybe check out why that is so like a way to keep tabs on your new year's resolutions and just in a fun way you know like not like uh, feeling guilty about things just you want your plants to do well and that's why i thought it would be fun to make these little plant pot things that also look kind of fun so you want to interact with them in some way and the thing with a new holiday or a festival of course is also that it first of all needs a name so people can call it we're doing this or it's this this month and i think it also needs like a little bit of a ritual around it i mean like drawing uh, a plant is something sure you can do that that might be part of your ritual but maybe you can also like light a candle at the end of the day just to give yourself a little moment to focus on something light a candle focus on things think about what you've done and then bring up your resolution garden and see which plants can be added to and which need a little bit more attention so you can maybe focus on that the day after or something like that and some people also like to light a candle with like an intention behind that like okay i see that this plant here is not doing too well because i lit a cigarette earlier during lunch and okay that's not great so i'm gonna light a candle with the intention that i'm going to instead bring some gum with me to work tomorrow and not light the cigarettes and then i can definitely put a little bit more of a stem on this one saying had gum instead of a cigarette or something and felt fine so you know that type of thing so we might want to add a little bit of a ritual into it if you're into that type of thing you could maybe even get like scented candles for certain things like yeah, maybe this one represents uh something that you connected a certain scent to like the scent of laundry or something if you want to take better care of your household is that like a thing like i want to keep on top of my household chores get something that smells like clean linen light that when you want to uh, this one to be more focused on the next day or something to get your mind in the game so 
to speak. Another thing that we're missing aside from the name is a uh, food or some type of dish that goes with it because a lot of things, a lot of holidays have a certain type of thing that you eat that also reminds you like, hey, it's now Easter because we got eggs on the table, for instance. And uh, we want something, maybe something like sprouts would be a good thing. Like you have those little, uh, I don't know what they're called, the sprout things are also supposed to be like a superfood, so that's also pretty good. Maybe you can focus on certain superfoods that you like. Uh, I've lately uh, gone into looking into mushroom supplements, because apparently there's a lot of mushrooms out there that are good for your body and also uh, good for your mind. And being home alone, like we've spent most of the last year, uh, it's pretty easy to get a little bit of uh, short-term memory loss because every day starts to look alike. You start to wonder, like, did I do this yet or not? Because Everything just turns into one big mash up, I guess, and that's why I thought, hey, lion's mane mushroom is apparently good for rain, so I'd ordered myself some supplements uh, for that, these little capsules with some lion's mane powder in it. So maybe the food for this festival could be any type of superfood that you feel can help you on your quest to achieve whatever it is that you've got on your little plant pots here, or just something that you haven't eaten in a while, because sometimes that's also a good morale boost, just something that you haven't had in a while, like, doesn't have to be anything healthy, it could be that you haven't had, like, uh, I don't know, fries in a really long time We're like you know what i'm going to reward myself for growing this here intention plant by getting some fries or whatever just like a little morale boost a little present for yourself and uh, not too much of course because then this plant over here is going to start wilting but you know what i mean just a little morale boost something that you would normally not eat and we can like connect that to january and february because they are kind of dark months and the dark months of the year is also where most people get the most depressed because there's like a lack of light and stuff like that the days are getting longer because we've already had the shortest day, but it's still really gross and kind of dark early. So we need a morale boost and something to do in the first few months of the year. Aside from just going, why has Christmas left so early and I have to take my Christmas tree down. Oh my God, all the work and everybody's taking their lights off of the windows is depressing. So I thought we would need something new and I think this might just be the thing. Now these things I made myself because you see me make tons of things uh, in videos before. So I just take a piece of cardboard from uh, the discard pile, so to speak, draw a pot on there and just uh you don't have to do exactly like mine obviously but i put a little seed in there a little sprout at the top so that is like the start because the the very fact that you even want to do this means that you already have a little bit of an advantage over people that don't focus on these things and then just go to town on your plants that's basically the whole idea so if you want to uh, join me in on that then make sure to make your own little pot you can make as many as you want obviously um, you could also uh, focus on a few of them because if you have a whole bunch of them then maybe the focus gets lost a little quicker and then you might end up getting disappointed because you don't have quite as much plant growth as you thought that you would so it might be good to focus on a few also a good idea to cut things out of your life as well instead of trying to put more things in so focus on a few and you're probably more likely to get success so that's what i was thinking and that's what i wanted to share with you today hopefully you're having a great time so far in 2021 i know that we have had some issues already but that's just life i mean every year doesn't necessarily come with a whole magical new clean slate we're still building on the old energy and hopefully we'll get some new energy in there sometime soon actually it is since last december 21st i believe it was wasn't it the start of the age of aquarius so we should be getting some new energies anyway if you believe in that type of thing uh, hopefully we can use that for the better because that means uh, we'll get lots of new ideas i think and in any case change that's the main thing so that is it for this Saturday whole story. I hope you're going to join me in this. And if you uh, would like to join, make sure to post a picture of your plant pots and Discord. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.